So here we are in this lovely oh, tree groves of the hills and a path. Let's do our walking and talking story. This takes place in Newton Stewart. Big Angus, the stenographer. Remember him? So Big Angus, the stenographer. He loves stenographing. Stenographing. Tippy-tappy, tippy-tappy. Recording old stories in the court. And remember that he's on Bumble. Which is that dating app. And uh, he's going on a a date at the weekend. He's going skiing, remember? And he's got his mate. He's also got a date. So they do a double date, skiing. Maybe in the Pentland Hills, but that'd be Edinburgh. Newton Stewart, the Galloway Hills. Look at this. We pause the story to look at this. Institute of Physics, CTR Wilson, companion of honour, Nobel laureate in physics, invented the cloud chamber was born in Crosshouse Farm and died in Carlops. Lovely. So where were we? Angus is, not Angus, yeah, big Angus, he's stenographing, he's, but he's thinking about his date, he's really attracted to this woman. And he's sort of hoping that he's not attracted to his mates, who's little Angus. So big Angus and little Angus going on a date, it's, it's getting better. Little Angus is not a stenographer, but he does work in the court. He sort of does, a, does the, the cleaning. He's got a grabber and he just cleans up after all these idiots who drop litter everywhere. So Big Angus, Little Angus, <clears throat> they go for a pint on the Friday night together because they've chosen not to show each other their respective dates and they're going skiing in the Galloway Hills and they're very excited. And... Uh, so Angus, Big Angus, can't really concentrate on his stenography, so he makes a lot of mistakes. Putting, like, semicolons where it should be colons, putting dashes where it should be full stops, that kind of thing. And, uh, of course, that leads to lots of work later, but... They go for that pint, they're having the pint, they're looking, uh, they're chatting about the skiing and what they're going to do and how they're going to ski and where they're going to ski and got rent skis as well. They rent them from Newton Stewart. <sighs> so not very exciting so far, but then the day comes. They meet the ladies. And guess what? Both the Anguses are attracted to the other date. So that's a bit tricky to start with. They don't express this initially, which is a really bad idea. Once you really be honest up front, Sheep worrying. Lambing in progress. Oh, get some WD-40. Oof. Look at these hills. I used to climb these hills with Mr. Thompson. So, they're on the mountain. And the ladies are very fast. And the ladies are chatting. They're getting on with each other. And they, they also find out they like the other Angus. So there's Deirdre, and they're both called Deirdre, which is amazing. Big Deirdre, little Deirdre. So big Angus, little Angus, big Deirdre, little Deirdre. They're going to the opposite. Big Angus likes little Deirdre, and big Deirdre likes little Angus. So skiing down, ladies are faster, much faster. And then they decide to play a wee joke. They just round one of the bends in the hills. They stop and stand and they, they, they open their arms like wanting to catch them, you know? <laughs> to kind of embrace them in. Why not? I mean, just get stuck in. So Angus and Little, the big Angus and Little Angus are scooshing down the hill and round the bend they come and the women see them and they go, oh my God, they're going far too fast. They just step out of the way and the men go straight into two trees. And that's the end of Big Angus. And little Angus. That's the end of the story. On it. And uh, thank you for listening, whoever's listening. And uh, Flotterston Glen. Here we are. We can see deer, butterflies, 
the heron. It's lovely. Is that a, a hawk? Yeah, no. Apparently, beautifully, and it's very well kept. Let's go to the waters. Let's cleanse the hands, that's what we'll do. And then I'll head back to the car and offer my massage. <laughs>